coming to theaters. Women have always shared a seemingly impossible dream to meet a man who truly listened to them, who really understood what they were thinking. Let me get your cab, sir. But no man could ever really hear them until now. Thank you for... You're welcome, my little sweet buns. What did you say? Me? Nothing. that aftershave, buddy. I'm talking personal, private stuff. The stuff that nobody on earth is supposed to hear. I hear that stuff. Oh, dear God. Hey, Joe. Hello? I'm Darcy. Why do I feel like he's checking me out? <laughs> this guy's kind of exciting. Oh, I don't know how this happened to you or why, but you may just be the luckiest man on earth. If you know what women want, the world can be yours. You go, girl. I'm gonna be the one guy on earth who knows what they want, how they think, and why they do those cuckoo things they do. Paramount Pictures and Icon Productions present I won't the story of a man's man who's getting in touch with his feminine side. Dad, what are you doing? Exfoliating. I can't believe this is what I'll be wearing the last night I'm a virgin. <laughs> Mel Gibson. They just want to be listened to. Him. Why is it so hard? You're starting to sound like a nag. Oh, that's man talk for if you don't want to listen. Fine, be that way. Helen Hunt. I'm free. Just call me anytime. I'm flirting. What's wrong with me? Oh, God, I just looked at his crotch. Oh, I hope he didn't see me. <laughs> oh, I just looked at it again. Stop it. <laughs> what Women Want, a Nancy Myers film. Check in with the weather center. Rush, am I the only one who misses our old pal, Jack Frost? Temperatures, a local. <laughs> he said to me that I delivered the weather forecast mm -hmm. with a Shakespearean flair. <laughs> Was he drunk? Weatherman Russ Richards owes his success to his winning personality. We love your show! Thank you. You have a good day. His snowmobile dealership. I'm Rockefeller. I'm on Broadway. I'm doing a cha-cha-cha. And his own table at Denny's. You're Russ Richards, aren't you? Here. Oh, no. let me guess. Mmm, it's a resume of some sort. Just read it. Everything else. I need money. I need it fast. I told you last time, no more loans. He owes to the bank. I'm not selling the Jag. I can sell my body parts to South America before I sell that Jag. But all that is about to change. Okay, Russ. It's going to be a better day. Sometimes in life, the greatest opportunities are sitting right under your nose. Hey, I think that by playing the lottery is going to solve all my problems. Not playing the lottery. Winning the lottery. Jeez. I'm a big brother. I'm going to be the biggest brother of all. Let me bask in that for a while before I start thinking about tampering with the same lottery. This October, I have to ask you something. I wouldn't blame you if you said no. We're going to be be a slightly harder sell. You need someone to buy the ticket and claim the winnings. My cousin Walter could do it. He's this totally straight guy. Oh, oh, oh. Ugly. Ah, oh, rise. Right. Right. Pictures and Studio Canal present Short Sweep. I want half the money. Oh, jeez. John Travolta. This is killing me. I've gained two pounds. Lisa Kudrow. Now on his head cut off. Now that's just your anger talking. Paramedics said that there was nothing anyone could have done. I can't believe it. I'm in shock. You know what his last words were? You and Russ deserve to have that money. <sighs> All right, key lime pie. Lucky numbers. Oh, it's so sad. It's just so sad. Want to sex? Oh, yeah. Coming to video cassette. Oh, yeah. 
have here is a dreamer, someone completely out of touch with reality. Lux, please put your shit on this instant. Are you uh, an aviation enthusiast? I don't know if I call myself an enthusiast. But, uh... <laughs> Do you like to wrestle? <clears throat> said about the girls over the years. Those girls have a bright future ahead of them. But we have never found an answer. Her act was a cry for help. I heard it was an accident. Even then, as teenagers, we tried to put the pieces together. We still can't. We got a full tank of gas. We'll take you anywhere you want to go. About time. We've been waiting for you guys. to know how bad life gets. Obviously, Doctor. You've never been a 13-year-old girl. Four sisters put their own lives in jeopardy. They'll all be gone by next year. We would never be sure about the sequence of events. We argue about it still. Special presentation after the movie. And now we're pleased to bring you our feature presentation.